Namaste and good morning to everybody. We are on exercise two, observing the self and the body by the, ex the self. And we were on step three. In step one, we tried to observe that I am there. And I can see, observe that I am there because I can see my activities, that I have desires, thoughts, expectations going on in me continuously. I can also see that the body is there. How do I see that the body is there? I can see by the sensation. I can observe the sensations in the body. And therefore, I can see that the body is there. Even when I have to get information about the outside, I get it through the various sense organs of the body. So I can see that the body is also there. In step two, we were trying to see a little more about the interaction between the self and the body. What is this interaction that is taking place? And we said that there is only an exchange of information between the consciousness, the self, and the material, the body, during this interaction. There is no physiochemical substance that is being exchanged. In step three, we were trying to see who is the decision maker in this interaction between the self and the body. We tried to see that it is the self that is deciding what information to give to the body, what instruction to give to the body, when to give it. And in the body, due to the various activities that are going on, many sensations are there. The self is choosing to read some of those sensations as and when it thinks important, depending on what it thinks is important to it. It reads those sensations, gives some meaning to them, comes to some decision and then instructs the body to do something. So all of this the self is the one who is observing the sensation. Self is the one who is giving that particular meaning to the sensation. Self is the one who is churning that information and coming to a conclusion about what to do. And then self is the one that is giving the instruction to the body. So the self is the seer, the doer, and the experiencer, or the enjoyer. The body just goes along with whatever the self instructs. So this we were trying to see. Mm -hmm. With regard to this, I have got two queries, Didi. First one, as it was discussed day before yesterday, Imagine we are having a function at home, two days I was working without sleep. Third day also, I wish to work because I have got some work to do. But in spite of that, my, uh, I go to sleep or I fell asleep. So in that situation also, if the self decides to go to sleep, Didi, because I have got some work, I need to do that. But in spite of that, I fell asleep. Yeah. So see, two things will be involved here, isn't it? 
the body which you know um, has some limitations being a physical thing mm -hmm. so it has some limitations there will be you know body cannot keep going at some point it will get tired and it needs rest yes really. self is also there and self depending on its level of you know how important it thinks something is it wants to focus on that it wants to pay attention to that and if the thing is not so important it may decide not to pay attention to that mm -hmm. so this you can observe that a little bit of both may be involved here Mm -hmm. one is that you have been sort of driving the body for two days without giving it rest mm. so the body also needs rest at the same time what you were involved with as the function mm -hmm. perhaps you felt that or you thought that it was very essential and you had to do it and you enjoyed doing it Mm -hmm. and so you did it mm -hmm. and now the second thing you know you need to do it but you don't enjoy doing it so you may lose you know you may not be paying attention that much both things may be involved so you can sort of see for yourself which of the two or mm -hmm. both may be there in that case how can we say didi self is a decision maker didi so there only my doubt arises didi see ultimately the self has to understand na mm -hmm. it's like saying you know uh law of gravity is there now if i don't understand law of gravity and i instruct the body to jump out of the second floor third floor of course the bones will break Mm -hmm. Why should I instruct like that if I understand the law of gravity? Okay, okay, baby. Isn't it? Okay, so if okay. I understand the body, mm -hmm. then I will, you know, um, with understanding, I will give the instruction. I don't give any other type of instruction, mm -hmm. isn't it? I don't give this kind of instruction to the body. i uh, consider everything mm. and then i give the instruction if it was something that was uh, had to be done immediately and uh, you know many things were at stake perhaps i would have stayed up even then and instructed the body to go ahead and do it mm -hmm. but if i understand that the body will eventually you know need rest then i will allow it to take rest it's like saying how can the self not instruct the body to go on living mm -hmm. the body has you know some limitations its recognition and fulfillment is very definite that like okay, okay one of the things in the body is that it will age mm -hmm. it will age uh you know as, as per as time goes this body is time bound mm. so self cannot choose to decide to let the body keep living forever mm -hmm. that will not be possible it has to be within the purview of the laws that govern this existence isn't it yeah, yeah, yeah. but between the two who is deciding body or self Certainly, yes. self is decided, yes. isn't it? Yes, it is. Actually, that question was did he? Uh, in case of any emergency, uh, won't the self empower the body to come out of danger? Yeah, up to a point, na. Like I said, you have to understand the situation. Mm -hmm. Up to a point. Now, if you really understand things, you will not get into such a situation. Mm. So many people, uh, 
you know you face so many issues mm mm you're driving somebody comes in the way don't you suddenly break mm 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 so how is the body is not doing this the self can see decide in the flash of a second the second mm the self can give the instruction and to apply the brake mm mm what is that that is also a way of trying to protect the body mm 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 isn't it okay. so the body also has limitations if i understand that mm mm then i will not um you know even if i uh, don't understand and i keep giving some instruction if it is beyond the you know that limit of the body mm-hmm. then it cannot it's like the leg is fractured or you know some or say the whole some paralysis is there something some problem in the body now the self can keep trying to give the instruction but some issue is there Mm. it's not able to reach that part of the body that instruction so it's not able to lift mm. Mm. now here the body is already damaged mm. in that part so now if the self is trying to give the instruction the damaged part cannot receive that properly mm. that instruction because mm. there is damage in the body mm. then it will not happen but you will see that you don't give those instructions also when you understand the limitations the mm-hmm. uh, you know the laws by which the body goes mm-hmm. the body can't uh, choose to change its recognition and fulfillment like you can mm isn't it yes dear yeah yes dear now i got the point dear thank you thank you dear that's it for me thanks sir regarding the 10 minute observation mm-hmm. that i chose a particular posture mm-hmm. to sit but i didn't change it and mm-hmm. uh, i could see that only hardly 2 minutes i could sit in that position and mm-hmm. there was there was a itching <coughs> irritation <laughs> so my hand moved there mm-hmm. and uh, after that again i could concentrate in the former posture and uh, after that uh, even the, um, in, um, in the beginning also while i was observing the interaction between self and the body and uh, my attention went outside the birds bird sound and the vehicles passing by and all that and sometime it was <coughs> my attention was on inhale and exhale mm-hmm. and uh, it, in this, this was going on i mean for some other reason and their posture was disturbed and again restored so this was my feeling and observation yesterday 10 minute observation so when the posture was you said you know the body moved and then the posture was restored how did that happen did the body do it or did the self no it is the self self deciding oh, to you could see that yes yeah yes i could see yes okay. nice see there also when we say you know some itching sensation in the body something like that now if you were paying attention to something else deep in attention to something else you may not even have noticed that sensation of itching mm-hmm. but right now when you are paying attention to the body 
you are able to observe this yes there may be many times we are very busy calculating something or you know um, reading something of interest to us or watching a movie or something like that where our interest is caught up and we may sit in that position for more than 10 minutes also mm. without moving mm. um but if we were asked to pay attention to the body particularly at that point we may notice many of these sensations isn't it yes ji yes during your every interaction with the body observe who is deciding what is to be done you the self or the body we've already been doing this but just to again try to go over routine activities if you see when you are walking the body is deciding or you are deciding so you walk along a path and this is the normal path you take every day when you go for a walk today you decide to go on a different path who is deciding body or self you are eating something who is deciding to eat you or the body of course this is very obvious is the body automatically putting food in the mouth or are you instructing it to do so try to see who is enjoying the taste of the food you or the body sometimes you say you know so and so thing doesn't agree with me if i eat this i feel like throwing up what is happening there is it the self or is it the body you wake up in the morning but don't feel like getting out of bed who is deciding whether to get up or to sleep more you that is the self or is it the body we also looked at this question what happens when you respond to a sound a sudden sound a flash of light or a touch who is deciding the response you or the body and when you are deep in thought observe if you are interacting with the body or not so all these will make us just look at it in a little more detail so that we can sort of look at the various activities that we are involved in throughout the day and try to see with clarity what is this interaction that is going on between myself and the body there is one hand raised uh, it's absolutely true that whatever uh, work that we do it's decided by Uh, the self and is instructed to the body and the body acts accordingly so didi uh, so is it like i think uh, it's a kind of a asking you uh, that suppose myself decides to be angry and my body behaves accordingly and i go in opposition and then when i try to restrain my anger maybe i don't get angry at that time but and my body doesn't respond uh, in opposition at that it doesn't react but ultimately the negative qualities uh, they are all of myself just like my positive qualities so when my self leaves the body i go with both the qualities positive and negative the main thrust the main point that i would like to know is that i leave my body when i go i go with everything is it so or myself is a pure uh, thing with everything positive when it leaves see if you look at the self now there are two parts within me you can observe this for yourself isn't it 
we have been talking about these two yes. parts yes these two parts are inseparable they are there together hmm. one part is you know the what we call the b1 block the the part where from where you look as the pure observer we keep calling it also the pure observer the pure self hmm. the natural acceptance hmm. this is also a part of the self Hmm. my imagination my feelings my desires my thoughts my expectations this is also a part of the self hmm. and the two may or may not be in line so hmm. yes hmm. if whether the body is there or the body is not there hmm. all of this is there within me and that goes along that goes along actually what really goes along see memory so far as the self is concerned hmm. now also you can see if you you know uh, if we see what is happening now then we can also see that is what will happen after death hmm. right now also hmm. like we keep saying this thing no you may or may not recall many things that happened in the past some things you recall some things you don't yes whatever yes. is of significance yes. to you you recall that hmm. whatever is not significant to you you don't recall it isn't it yeah but all the while you are experiencing something every moment there is some experience something that you are feeling experience any you are feeling something hmm so with all of this you might come to some conclusion right for hmm. instance uh you may have been told supposing earlier there used to be moral stories nowadays hmm. those things are not there in school but suppose you are told instructed or you are you know taught in school that everybody is a pure person and you know every soul is a pure soul and all of that hmm and as you grow up you somebody cheats you hmm some person robs something from you or cheats you in some other way hmm? now your assumption changes first you had heard you believed everybody is pure everybody is fine everybody is good now somebody cheated you now in your experience this person becomes impure to you so now you have a different assumption about that person i go in opposition yeah you mm. can go into opposition meaning you see yourself as different mm. and you get angry that this person why did they cheat me and all of this yes you get angry and, you have and i lose my harmony also of I course lose. yes any time you have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to you you notice that you are in disharmony you become uncomfortable we think it is the other person who did it hmm but really it is the feeling is in me absolutely if i had ensured my feeling this would not have happened this is one issue and the question i thought was that you were wanting to know that what yes. is, what we do absolutely you are in line but because then what happens if i am in opposition or i i am reacting or i am having a negative feeling uh, i i really do not uh, uh, i i i start thinking right now this is the thing that i keep on thinking that how to get rid of this kind of a feeling either i avoid the uh, concerned other self self too who is involved uh, in opposition with me or i try uh, changing that particular self to is quite difficult so uh, always that disharmony prevails and then ultimately uh, i i start thinking that will i leave with all these things 
uh, will I leave this thing in this world and my uh, carry my pure self or will I carry everything with me when I go? You will carry everything, no? Why not? All of this is in you. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like something happened which was very disturbing maybe even 20, 30 years back. You may still recall it. Other things like, you know, what did you eat for lunch? What did you eat for breakfast 20, 30 years ago? You may not recall. That's unimportant. What it's is important unimportant? Is, because touches us, which touches us and makes us feel. Exactly. Like what you mean by it. touches you is your feeling is very strongly involved with that. That's what you mean, right? When you say yeah. touches you. Because many people, when I put this in a, as a discussion, many say that we leave everything here and we carry our pure soul and go away. So that's I was, what you, <laughs> you try to see this. Yeah, and, and I was observing, I was observing, and then I realized, no, that's not, that cannot be the case. We can't leave everything because everything is being decided by self. Instruction is given to the body. I think my, my own self, my... Uh, internal feeling told me that no you don't leave everything because it is yourself and it is the self which leaves the body and goes it carries everything with it this was the answer that i got within myself and i was therefore clarifying from you yeah see um, if we try to observe so that's what i'm saying before we get into you know what will happen when the self leaves the body and all of that if you are clear about things here and now, then you can see that this is how it is likely to be when the body is not there. Even now, when the body is, we are not interacting with the body, it is as if the body is not there for us so many times. And we can see that what all is going on in the self. But if we are not aware, then it all seems like a mystery. But you can see that if you don't have the understanding and you continue without that understanding till the end of this lifetime, that means till the end of this uh, cycle of the self or this body, then it's like how you go to sleep with something unfinished, next day morning you take it up again, then you can you know, take on a fresh body and start all over again. But when it comes to, you know, whatever uh, very deep rooted, it's like a summary of everything that was important to you at this time. That summary, you tend to have it in you. You may not be aware of it right now. It may be there almost like in a seed form. And when the environment is suitable for that, again, it comes up, it surfaces. Just like how a seed is, many seeds may be planted in the ground, but only when the environment is right for that seed, it will sort of germinate. So if the water is there, the sunlight is there, then so many things are there, then the, the soil is fertile, then the seed will germinate. So similarly, these... Uh, sanskars, what we call it. Mm -hmm. the what we have gathered over time and which have formed strong, deep rooted assumptions mm -hmm. within us. We carry those with us, and they may or may not surface right away every time. Some of them are there from way back, and whenever you know some situation, sometimes favorable for it come up comes up it comes up yes so so no matter, we try to cleanse ourselves through our good deeds and good thoughts and good actions wait 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 yeah. when you're trying to cleanse yourself yeah. where would you focus if self. it is on the deed self. no self, self okay yeah. but if you are focusing on correcting the action, correcting the thought, hmm. it's going to be very tough. Isn't it is it? very tough. It's very now you, you just look at the feeling. Because in fact, 
the action is being driven by the thought the thought is being driven by the feeling absolutely <laughs> and that feeling is being driven by your deep rooted assumption so you if you start looking at your natural acceptance that pure part within you mm -hmm. from there you can see you know what is naturally acceptable to you what kind of feeling is naturally acceptable to you the feeling of harmony feeling of harmony of being feeling in happiness in continuity being in happiness in continuity that yes, but when are you happy, happy in continuity if well, you see that you are in happiness in continuity when you have a feeling of relationship when you have a feeling of harmony when you have a feeling of coexistence this is what is naturally acceptable to you so any feeling not in line with this you are going to be in disharmony so when you focus on this and as you keep focusing on this cleansing yourself mm. purifying yourself mm. and the disturbance in you settles down the turmoil the disharmony because of feelings that are in contradiction with what is naturally acceptable all that settles down then you are able to become aware of the higher activities that are there already in you but you are not paying attention to them and as you keep paying attention and you keep becoming aware of these these higher activities didi mm. what what, uh, what is it good we talked about it no were you there for the first yeah yeah, yeah, the yeah. Self? so we mm. talked about the activity of contemplation the activity of understanding the activity of realization contemplation about the relationship about my participation my role in the relationship in the larger order when we talk of activity yeah, yeah. understanding understanding the harmony that mm -hmm. every unit in this whole existence is self organized then the activity of realization when you realize that this whole existence is in a form of coexistence every unit is coexisting and this there is this submergence of all the units in space so space is underlying and all of the units are interconnected interdependent so there is a coexistence now when you see all of that then nobody has to keep telling you that the other person is also like you similar all that you now you can see it directly so with that when you have these feelings always in line always naturally acceptable you can be in harmony in continuity and now if you leave the body in that state then that is your state because now you have understood things so you carry that with you yeah okay didi mm -hmm. thank you all right um so we have this uh what we are looking at right now on the slide many instances you can pick up any one of these or two of these and try to observe this right now when we do our 10 minute observation so for 10 minutes i will mute myself and we'll try to do this observation about the interaction between the self and the body try to see you know especially if there is any thing going on in the self see if you are for everything that is going on in the self are you giving instruction to the body or many things are going on for which you are not giving instruction to the body and you may not even be aware that the body is there so try to do this observation for 10 minutes and then we'll take your observations about it all right good we have been observing for about 10 minutes
So if anybody would like to share what they could observe in these last 10 minutes, we'll take the observations now. Didi, while observing for 10 minutes, uh, there was, for some time, I was in a still condition, still position. I mean, no change in the posture. And uh, my attention went outside, again came back and it, go, it goes on. And suddenly there was a coughing or and I, I coughed. And uh, then I saw that he, um, the horse is initiated by the body and I could observe self, I mean self, self could observe that and uh, again the normal condition, sitting position again restore. That's all. So when you were coughing, who took the decision, body or self? Mm, I observed that coughing ors came from the body. What is that? Ors, I mean, to cough. Mm -hmm. Yes, that came from the body. So you're and saying I, the sensation was there in the body? Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Huh. And <clears throat> I could observe that, yes, <clears throat> that it is coming from the body, but I have decided to cough. Mm. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> right. Yes. So if we are aware all the time, if we can see what is happening in the body, what is happening in me, we have the capacity to be able to see all of this, what is happening in the body, what sensations are arising in the body and I may be paying attention to only some of those sensations. There may be many sensations, but when I feel it necessary, I, my attention goes to that particular sensation or I draw my attention to that particular sensation. But you will notice that all this while, your thoughts, your feelings are there within you. So you may be thinking of something else. And then this sensation, you know, you see it as something important. So while thinking of something at that same time, your attention can be drawn to this sensation and you cough. At such times, notice whatever you were thinking continues to go on the same way or is there seemingly a break and then you start thinking something else. Not really a break, break like a cessation of thought, but you might be changing your thought to something else. All of this we can observe, that capacity is there within us. Now we have to sharpen our observation skills a little more. So when we say, you know, um, there was an urge to cough. So now you try to see what is happening in the body and what is happening in the self. Try to observe this for so many activities that we keep doing during the day, we have to start observing for each of those, what happens. So this simple thing that we have mentioned here, you know, observe what happens when you respond to a sound, a flash of light or a touch. If you try to observe this, you'll be able to see with more clarity this interaction between the self and the body. So this is what we have to do all day today. This is what we have to do. Look at all these various interactions and try to observe the various sensations in the body, what you are observing. Like yesterday, that uh, exercise we did, 
of paying attention to one particular part and being able to see the sensation there. If your attention had not been there on that part, then you may not have been able to see that sensation. But when you paid attention to that part, you were able to read that sensation. So similarly, now you can see in various activities, many sensations may be there. What you are thinking is important for you to know at that time. You pay attention to those sensations. <clears throat> Isn't it? We can all try to see this, observe this. <clears throat> 